Another thing that I like to do before I'm done is I like to make sure that I've organized my file in a good way. So um, here they are, I've zipped all of them. I have all the different days I was working on things. And I'm gonna make a new file called underscore archive. And I'm gonna put all of these uh, versions of the rig that were like works in progress into there. And so from now on, if I ever come into this folder in my potato source tune boom rig, that's where the build file is. And I could open it up and I could start working on a version two and then I would move this to the archive. And so I like to, to work in that organized way so that uh, people can find what they need easily. And I'll just show you like, this is what I will have, like rig potato. I come in here, um, actually the potato expressions, I usually put that in source. Blush, those things would be here in source maybe. I just want to see what the character looks like Maybe I'd export a video of the rig rotating and stuff, but in the source folder, I will keep the Photoshop files, um, the source Photoshop files. I made a little icon. I have some documents. I've got some sketches that are stuck in there. I've got color um, references in here. And then my Toon Boom rig is here. So that's how I like to organize my files. So. Um, it is very important to zip your files. If you're going to transfer it to USB drive or if you're going to back it up to the cloud or put it on Dropbox or something, uh, if you simply copy the folder without zipping it, sometimes there will be hundreds of files um, that need to be saved there um, because every single element has its own little file. So I have tried copying a rig before and it has had like 8,000 little tiny files and it takes it like 15 minutes to copy from one place to the other but then if you zip it you can just copy and paste this to somewhere else it's just a single file that has to get there so this will save your computer time it helps it so that your files won't get corrupted as easily meaning like if if it was backing up to the cloud and all of a sudden the internet went down but part of the rig hadn't got there yet you might be out of luck. <laughs> so please zip your stuff, unzip it, work on it, zip it back up and save it where you want it to be. Hey, I just wanted to give a few more notes about cleaning up the Harmony file before you um, save it. So I would highly recommend that you go into your frames folder because sometimes you'll have tested your animation using render and play. And so when you do that, it, it gives you a preview of what it's gonna render out like uh, without OpenGL view. As you can see, you can, there are no, um, those little purple selectors are not visible in this. And um, most of the time when I'm wanting to preview an animation, I will just uh, set a little start and a stop point. Start, stop, put it on loop and press the regular play, not with the render and play. Render and play is useful if you're doing something with um, effects like lighting nodes or textures or um, things like that. But most of the time you don't need to use it to preview an animation. But whenever you do that, it puts all these little preview files here in your frames folder. Now, Harmony is not depending on these. I could go and delete them all, control A and then press delete. Okay, so that's going to save some space on your file. And um, if I were animating a scene, sometimes we import an animatic. And when you do that, when it's a just a video animatic, when it's not from Storyboard Pro, but just from a video, it, it pretty much makes a JPEG image for every frame of your video. And so it can make your Harmony folder really, really big. And so normally when I'm animating I do use the animatic as a reference but then when I'm done I want to clean it out and so I'll go find the animatic in the node view and delete it and make sure that it gets deleted out of the elements folder um, to save some space for when I um, save this. Another thing that I like to do when I'm cleaning up the file is I want to make sure that I get rid of any extra palettes and I know we talked about this when you're finishing up the rig and that kind of thing but I would go here, you can see new scene, 
and test demo, those things are not used. And so what you can do is go file, remove unused files, and it will go through and check any palettes that are not being used by anything. And you can press OK to delete them all. Let's say that a few of these pieces were using some of these lines and, and we didn't know it. Watch what happens. If I go and press delete, it, it gives this little thing that says, oh no, you know, you deleted something that was being used. So if you know that you're about to do something like that, um, you can right click here and choose recolor drawings. And then you can go to um, PTO and then maybe choose your lines, the hat. And now it goes through everything and it says everything that used to be that black default from new scene is now going to be colored with the PTO hat swatch. So now I can go ahead and delete these um, by pressing minus over there or by remove unused and then gets rid of those. So that's kind of nice, just uh, final tidying up things before you call it done. And then I'm going to close it out and I am going to zip it. Right click, send to compressed folder and then I'm going to delete that one so that it doesn't have to be syncing all over the place and it's just a single file that's going to get backed up to my cloud at the end of the night or I can copy to a USB drive and things like that. So there you go. Keep your files nice and tidy so that they're easy to navigate and find in the future. Thanks so much for watching this course. And if we get time, I'm going to go back through and actually pose out the rest of the 360 and then we'll do master controllers again and add that back into the library after it's updated. Okay. See you later. See you soon.